Hi, Rob Wakely, Chief of Honor County EMS. I'm outside of the Stimson Lumber Company in Priest River. And now it's time to talk about our finances. Over the next few slides, I'm going to demonstrate how much in ambulance district tax income we're taking in, what that's costing per household and per person, how much in billing income that we're collecting when we actually bring patients to the hospital, and how that all breaks down into expenses. We're also going to show you how many people we have working for us and how much everyone is paid. As you can see, we will bring in $2.4 million in tax revenue this year, and that comes to $185 per household and almost $60 per person based on the 2010 census population data. We will also collect about $600,000 in patient billing income, bringing our total budget to $3 million. We appreciate how expensive this is and hope this video has shown you the value we deliver for your generous support. This next slide shows how we're spending that $3 million budget. You can see the largest amounts are salaries and the contract fees we pay our partner agencies. Our partner agencies provide ambulance services in the more remote areas of the county. The majority of them receive $25,000 a year plus whatever patient billing they can collect. These two items alone make up just short of $2.1 million, which comes very close to using most of our tax revenue. Other expenses include leases on our Sandpoint and Priest River stations, leases on two fairly new ambulances, and the final payment on a million dollar loan made to Bonner County EMS back in 2006. Also, we have contracts to pay our medical director and billing company, fees paid to the county for 911 dispatch and insurance, vehicle expenses, medical supplies, and all the other sundry of items required to keep this agency operating. This shows the amount we pay each person. The full-time staff includes one chief, one deputy chief, one office manager, three shift captains, six paramedics, and 14 advanced EMTs. This represents 24 hours a day, seven days a week staffing of three ambulances and two paramedic fly cars. Staffing levels have not only not increased, but they've actually decreased by one since 2009. 